I think if you were going to sum up the Six Nations and the uncertainty in one word, it would be France. You, they don't know, you don't know, none of us know. They hammered Australia in Paris in the autumn, absolutely destroyed them. And yet, you never know, they could lose to Italy. Philippe Saint-André, their coach, has brought a little bit more method, a little bit more structure to it. And actually, they've got some good young players coming through as well. They'll be, without question, top half. Anybody who's ever seen Clermont play in the Heineken Cup will realise they've got some seriously good players. I'm thinking of Morgan Parra, who's a petit general of the French team and the Clermont side at scrum half. But also, the guy I like is Wesley Fofana, the centre. He's always had the pace and the try-scoring ability, but he's added a little bit of extra power there as well. Looks a complete package to me, and I think he'll take a lot of sides apart. Look across the team, though. Uh, they've got Louis Picamol at number eight, big developing player. But I think the key man for them is Frederick Michelac. Uh, he's going to play fly half, play scrum half for his club. Always a great box of tricks, but never quite the temperament, but flaky, appears to have absolutely uh, be a reform guy these days, much more mature, much more sensible bloke. They're expecting a lot from him as well. Something Philippe Saint-André has been mentioning in the build-up to the championship has been the number of foreign players playing in the top 14 in France. Did you know there were 28 wingers on a weekend the other day and only eight of them were French? So even worse with props, there are only a couple of tight head props in, in, in a certain weekend last season. They are quite short in certain positions because of the number of big star names who have been signed by the, by the wealthy clubs. So that is a slight weakness. You can look at it the other way and say that the younger French players are learning from these people, but uh, at the moment, still a little bit of inexperience in some positions. France's big problem is coming to Twickenham. They've had a shocking record there in recent years. They were taken apart there last year. England beat them in Paris last year. I think they've got a problem with England at the moment. Uh, so unless they win that match, which I don't think they will, I think the most they can win is four games. I think they may well do that, but then it's scanned a points difference. I don't know, they haven't been scoring all that freely. I think they'll come second on points difference.